Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. Today I'm at Kenny Upal at their new location in London, Ontario, and the reason I'm in London, Ontario today is because I'm picking up a car. Um, I'm not buying it. It's my mom's car, the 2015 wagon, because it's getting some work done to it. In front of me is a 93 Chevrolet G Chevrolet 20 van. Now this is a conversion van with a nice high top. And before we get into this video, let's say thanks for stopping in and watching this video. And I would super appreciate it if you could hit that like button, as well as subscribe for more. There is going to be content coming of a of a truck soon, a diesel truck. And uh, if you're interested in seeing that, well, you can see it here. Ninety-four thousand original miles. This is an American vehicle, not Canadian. It's still rusted out, so it must have came from a rust belt. Door handle, it's had power windows. Had the little tip out windows. I love those little tip out windows. But they went right over the drive clean sticker with the tint. Like, what the heck? And they still work too. Nice. I don't see these vans around a lot, but this one has a terrible paint job. It was spray bombed, obviously. But. It, I can definitely tell it had pattern in it, but look at the runs. Everywhere. There's a lot of rust out here. Someone patched from here all the way to here. It's patched there. It's it's a patchwork job. Yep. Patchy. The frame looks uh the frame might actually be rotten back here. Wow. And a lot of people don't realize, and I didn't until not too, too long ago, these are actually a unibody construction vehicle. They're not full frame. <laughs> and if we open up the back here. Well, it's been torn apart a bit, but it's mostly intact. You can see what it would have been originally. It's... Oh, it's a tab down there to open this door up. The top latch is gone, but... And someone decided to play break the window, apparently. Not necessary. But you can see it had graphics down the side and proceeded to get painted right over. You could imagine it had kind of interesting graphics, too. The weather stripping's alright. It's pretty dry, but it might be savable on some of it. At least, I'll give them this, they painted the inside of the pillars. So they did a complete paint job. That doesn't open. Oh, the lock's there. But if we look back here, there would have been two captain's chairs. And there would have been a... That's custom made. Um, there would have been a, be a bench that folded into a bed back there. I love conversion vans, guys, but I must admit these teal curtains with the gray walls aren't really doing it for me. Kind of look weird together. The wood in the ceiling with the lights up there, just wicked cool. Had a curtain across here. This was totally something someone might have lived in for maybe an extended period of time, but to camping trips and stuff. They actually have two sets of curtains up. They have the Roll down ones like on the back windows. And then these blue ones over top. Now the blue ones would have been original because they're on a wooden rod. Whether they're original or not or replaced, I don't know. But I love these conversion vans. Just really interesting. And under here we have somewhere an engine. It's buried way back in there. But, uh, this is a, I think a 5.7 liter again, which would be either a 305, maybe this has the 305, or it has the 350. I'm leaning towards 350 because it is the 20, and yeah. But yeah, that's a conversion van, guys. I actually really like these. This body style Chevy van is actually one of my favorite body style Chevy vans. I think it's much better looking than the new Savannahs. 
that are out now that have been out for, I don't know, 20 years at least now? No, like 25 years now. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button as well as subscribe for more. Have a great day, everyone.